Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Charlie Fibrosis, and today I am doing a little video to show you guys how to get GNL TV, which is an associated program for NR 2003, to work on your computer. So, what GNL TV is, at least in terms of this setup, as you can see up here, GNL TV is a live ticker for uh, design. They do have another way that you can do this, but I will explain how to do so uh, later on. Um, so the ticker is always running at the top. As long as the game is running and it is getting data, this ticker will be up to date. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video here and we're going to minimize this video. So here it is. So this comes from NR2003 Center posted and shared to NR2003 fans. There's a very active communication going here. So it includes the instructions and we're gonna go through and do this. So the very first thing that you are going to type in, um, if you do not have this link, is you are going to type in http colon sl forward slash forward slash bit dot ly slash NR2003 ticker. And you're gonna click on that. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download this. Um, the, if this file says that it's too large to scan for viruses, don't worry, it's fine, it's safe. Go ahead and download it, okay? So we're going to go ahead and download. Alright, and this will take a bit, so give me just a moment. By the way, if it does say that uh, it is commonly is not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous, go ahead and keep it. Um, make sure that you click on that. So give me just a moment. All right, so now the files have downloaded and they are in WinRAR. So we can go ahead and click on this and it will open this up. We can go ahead and close out of that. Now I've downloaded this a few times, so we'll go from there. So now what you're gonna need to do is we're going to open up this file and I am going to suggest doing ticker PHP 5.0. Uh, I think that the BPs stand for Blazing Petals, um, which is a organization associated with NR that has done other stuff um, and runs their own league. The other thing that you're gonna wanna open up is you're gonna wanna open up File Explorer as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of have these layered on top of one another. So we're gonna do ticker PHP 0.50. Now, we're gonna go back to the instructions. So next up, move Apache group to C colon program files x86 and then move PHP to C. Now, the very first thing that I want you guys to do before we follow that rule is that I want you to go ahead and take on your desktop, go ahead and create a new folder, okay? And we are gonna drag and drop ticker PHP 5.0 right into there. We don't wanna, we wanna make sure that you don't lose this in the process. And sometimes I think that these files can get a little volatile when they're still win wide. So we'll go ahead and open up the new folder, which we now have ticker PHP 5.0 there. And once again, we're gonna go into the C drive. Now, you're gonna go into PHP and you're gonna grab PHP and you are gonna drag it over and move it. And you can either move it or I would personally suggest, just in case if you ever need to do a backup, copy it and drop it here in PHP. Then you're gonna go into Apache group and program x86 and you are going to drop Apache group or copy Apache group right into here. Apache group is already populated. So there you go. We're gonna close out of that and we're good to go. Now, what you then do is you are going to, is, as we go back, I'm sorry, into here, uh, you're going to a start Apache and e GNL.TV.exe, okay? Got that? So we're gonna go into Apache group, Apache, and then we are going to open up Apache, which is signified by what looks to be a eggplant sort of looking item. So we are going to open this program. Now I personally 
have gone ahead and done this. I've gone ahead and I have put down as a taskbar icon the Apache icon and then GNL TV. So this way I don't have to open up this folder every single time to be able to see what is there. I only need to open these two folders. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and open up Apache. So this is Apache and it is running. It's working perfectly fine. If you get a notification bar, if you get a thing saying it needs to access networks, you can either choose private or public. I personally choose private networks just to be safe, um, but that is me. You will do the same thing for GNL TV. It will also happen to ask about ports and everything like that. Set it to private and or public, however you see fit. Next up, you can minimize those files. So long as these programs are still running in the um, setup, which is a, a command prompt style window. So there you go. You're there. There you go. So now you're going to do local host slash web in your web browser. So local L O C A L H O S T forward slash web in your web browser. I personally use Google Chrome. You can use it for IE. You can use it for whatever you wish. So we're going to paste it there. So there we go. We now have GNL TV sample page up and running, which is perfect. So I'm going to show you something here in a moment. And this is how I get to work within, within OBS. If you are doing uh, content or anything like that. You can also click here, by the way, to do show race standings. We'll open up that in a new tab so you can see what is going on. So here we go. NR2003 has not been started yet, but the standings tab is completely working fine. So there's that. You can leave this minimized. You can do whatever you wish, or you don't have to either. That's the other key thing, and this is where it's kind of cool. All right. Give me just a moment. I'm going to open up Streamlabs OBS and I'm going to show you how to do this. So we're going to open up Streamlabs, which give me just a minute because I think it's going to open up in my other. Yep, it definitely is. OK, so here's Streamlabs. <clears throat> here's Streamlabs OBS. And as I wait for it to populate, which will take just a minute, because the thing is, is that Streamlabs and uh, regular OBS uh, work off of the same stuff and everything, that's how it goes. All right, so here's live stream. So here's what we're going to do. It's already working up here, so there's nothing really to worry about, but here's the way that it's set up. So I have this set up as a ticker box. Um, you can't see anything right now. Oh, there we go. It populated, which is that show race standings. So here's what you're going to do if you're going to do anything in relation to if you're using OBS. Here's what you do. You're going to go to new source. And you can do this either for regular OBS or Streamlabs OBS. It doesn't really matter. It works the exact same way. Um, just visual layout is slightly different, but it works all the same. And what you are going to do is you are going to do browser source, okay? So this allows you to add web-based content, such as a source, such as web pages, such as Flash, SF, uh, SWFs, etc. Websites, third-party widgets, HTML. You are going to click that, okay? Now, we're going to set this as a new source, but we will delete this later on. Uh, we'll call this test ticker GNL TV. Okay, and we'll go ahead and add the source. Now, the first thing that you're going to get is a URL. Um, what you are going to do is you are going to click on and copy and paste 127.0.0.1 web. Okay, you're going to copy that up. And we're going to go back here and we're going to paste that right into here. Okay. Got it. Good. We're going to go ahead and hit done. Now what this did is it created 
the box for us. And we can resize this however we need it to. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to read and make it about, about similar size. We're going to make it We're going to make it about that size for this test. So now here's what you're going to do. We'll go ahead and drag this down. So there is a little thing here. This is on the very top layer. So everything related to OBS is going to be um, below here. Now here's what you're going to do. You're going to go onto your keyboard and you're going to hold the Alt key. You are going to get the little arrows here and you are going to click while holding Alt down and you are dragging this down until it is sized up. You then go to the sides. You're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to squeeze that box up. There we go. Now, what about the bottom? Well, we got to move it into frame a little bit so we can move this up. And here we go. That's about as close as we can get. So then you are then going to grab it and you are going to position it however you wish to. I'm going to go ahead and delete the test ticker GNL TV since we already have our uh, uh, ticker otherwise. And we'll go ahead and remove that. Yes, we do want to remove it. There we go. So here's all that needs to be done. Now this is specifically for OBS. I want to remind everyone of of this. If you're using a different program like uh, NVIDIA Shadow Play or NVIDIA Shadow Play Capture or anything else like that, I do not know how to get it set up this way. But this is how I do it for OBS. So, so long as you have this set up, as it's set up exactly as I've shown you, you will have this working. The last thing to do is just to open up NR2003. That is it. You can go ahead and minimize. If you only have like one monitor or whatever, then this works out perfectly. You just open up NR 2003, you, and then the data starts flowing just like it does in the video that I showed earlier. Uh, once again, these instructions will be included down below um, in the video description. Big, big credit to uh, Peter Dinklet on creating this. And congrats as well to the uh, NR2003 setup. Now there are other things that you can actually change about this that I do want to make very abundantly clear. Um, with the GNL TV, real quick, give me just a moment. I'm going to pause the video. And once again, now you have, when you're playing the game, you now have the ticker getting active information from the game. Alright guys, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you again later.